So here we're being asked to add numbers in standard form. So I'm going to show you two ways of doing it, and you can choose one that's easier for you. Um, the first one is to convert them to ordinary numbers before we add them, so take them out of standard form. So here we've got 3.4 times 10 to the power of 6. That means 3.4 times 10 six times. So we times it by 10 once to get to 34. And then we times it by 10 five more times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 3.4 times 10 to the power of 6. And we've got 5.1 times 10 to the power of 5. So 5.1 times 10 once is 51. And we did another 4. Another 4 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So then we can add these two numbers up as we would any other number. So we can line them up. These zeros have got, got five zeros, so five, and here I've got well, four zeros, put them on first, and then 51. So I can add them up, and that's going to give me zero, 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 one, nine, and three. So that's the number, as an ordinary number, and then if we need to convert it back to standard form, we say that's 3.91 times 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times to the power of 6. Okay, so the second method is to make the powers of 10 the same. So I've got 3.4 times 10 to the 6 here, so I'd need this to also be times 10 to the 6. So in order to add an extra 10 onto here, I'm going to have to divide this by 10. So 5.1 is 0 0.51 times 10. So 5.1 is 0 0.51 times 10. So that's the same as 5.1. And then I've got times 10 to the 5. So I've got 0 0.51 times 10 to the power of 6. So now I've got 3.4 times 10 to the power of 6 plus 0 0.51 times 10 to the power of 6. Then I can just add the two numbers up. Because if I've got 200 plus 300, I can just add the 2 and the 3 to make 500. So this is the same process but millions. So 3.4 million plus 0 0.51 million. I can just add the 3.4 to 0 0.51, um, which is 3.91. I could have written it out like this and added down 3.91 and that's still in millions. So 3.91 times 10 to the power of 6. So you can use either of those two methods to add numbers in standard form. Here are some questions that involve adding in standard form. You can pause the video now and give them a go, and then I'll go through the answers afterwards. Okay, so firstly, we've got 5 times 10 to the power of 4, plus 6 times 10 to the power of 3. So if we use the method of making the powers the same, this is 0 0.6 times 10 to the power of 4, so 5 plus 0 0.6, 5.6 times 10 to the power of 4. Here we've got something to times 10 to the power of 4 and something times 10 to the power of 6. So we're going to leave this to the power of 6, and then this is 0 0.04. So I have to divide it by 10 twice to make this to the power of 6 which gives me the answer of 8.24 times 10 to the power of 6. Here I've got 9.3 times 10 to the power of 5. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to change this to 0 0.6 times 10 to the power of 5. 9.3 plus 0 0.6 is 9.9 times 10 to the power of 5. Here I've got 7 times 10 to the power of minus 2 and 8 times 10 to the power of minus 3. So I need to add 1 onto the power here. So I'm going to change this to 0 0.8 times 10 to the power of 3. 
times 10 to the power of minus 2. So I've got 7 times 10 to the power of minus 2 plus 0 0.8, which is going to give me 7.8 times 10 to the power of minus 2. We could have done these questions by converting them to ordinary numbers instead. So for the first one, I would have said 5 times 10 to the power of 4 is 50,000. 6 times 10 to the power of 3, 6,000, add them up, 56,000, and converted it back. So 5.6 times 10 to the power of 4. Same process here, 8.2 times 10 to the power of 6. So times 10 once, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4 times 10 to the power of 4, 3. 4 times 10 to the power of 4, so 8, 2, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, which is 8.24 times 10 to the power of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, and we could have followed that process for all of the numbers. Um, we would get the same answers as we did with the other method. So 9.9 times 10 to the power of 5 and 7.8 times 10 to the power of minus 2.